we'll be adding our game score okay so what we shall do is um, select both the font and the PNG file and drag them uh, drag them in our assets section here I've already done so um, we've got these two all right so to add the label we can just come to canvas create render node then go with that I'll zoom out a bit and then put it on top so I'll call this score and then inside we shall say score space zero okay so we'll then push the font that we've just um, the font we've just picked up is this the score okay so the font we've just picked up call get the bf and drag it there okay so this allows us to use fonts um, notice if i say use system font it's not going to use it uh, it's going to look like that and then if i say uh, use then it's going to look like that um, it's pretty easy which one's the better looking one for me but you guys can um, use any font um, it supports bm fonts bf fonts tf fonts um, quite a number of them so let's go on in the source code and make this work so first up we'll go in the star and then in the star okay i was playing around with uh with this before starting but i will not use it here in fact we've not even used this property um, this can also go so what we'll do is we'll call we'll call a function that will be created in the game script so this function is game gain score okay gain score so in the game script we will add the new property for a label this property will be the score cc dot label okay then we'll set it to now Okay, then we'll have another one for the actual score. So player score, um, which is a number, and then this will be zero. This will be zero. Then when this is done, we will go on and create the method that we just um, talked about here gain score then we'll put it here gain score so gain score is going to do something pretty easy we'll just be adding uh, a one for now okay plus equals one to, to, to the player score this to player score yeah then what we need to do is come back to the canvas and then you'll see that because we've added a score label this will be empty so drag this inside there and then we'll save then what we can then do is call the score and then ask for the string and then the string can then be set to this dot player score dot to string okay we'll try it like that but here we'll also include the text score okay like that then we'll add yes then let's try it if this works fine then we will proceed to the next section okay so okay all right three okay so sometimes if it 
if it spawns near uh, where this is, then uh, it will hit it twice, and so that uh, we can be an effect. Okay, so this is where we'll end in this section. In the next one will be adding some sounds. Like and subscribe um, as usual. Um, put your comments in there. Look through the descriptions if you're interested in my online courses uh, for some coupons. Um, there are some free coupons as well as discount coupons. Thanks for your support, guys.